what's going on, America and the rest of the world? Santa J. Hobson here, stand-up comedian, entertainer, director, and producer of boxing documentaries, the internet troll. To those who need internet trolling, this here is another episode of Off the Ropes Comedy, brought to you by the Brilliant Artist Movement. So, um, with that said, right, I've been moving and grooving, doing a little bit of internet dating, man. And, um, you know, it's been up and down, you know. Um, one of the things that I've discovered in my lifetime, um, all the chicks that I've always liked didn't like me. And all the chicks that liked me, I didn't like. So, you know, I've always been a fair to middling type of guy. But in the end, I always got the prime queen or something close to it. So... I started messing around with this internet dating, right? Because right after the coronavirus, uh, people were reluctant to, you know, approach one another in the street. But on the other hand, they had no problem hooking up with somebody over the internet and meeting up with them somewhere, a person that they, you know, only talk to on the phone. So it's madness for me, but nevertheless, I got on this internet and I've been doing this dating. And it's been up and down. Um, I've met some really, 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 really nice sisters. And um, I don't have no um, nothing really bad to say. Well, I will say this. A lot of the chicks are a lot heavier in person than they are um, when, when they pictures. You know, it's, they use an older picture. And, um, you know, one of the things I notice about women who, um, who are a little bit overweight, they, they lean all the way into the camera like this. And they don't give you no full body shots. You know, they just, they all face because they definitely good look for women. But, you know, they not the smallest, as they say. They might be a little bit more in person, you know. So that's the madness. And one of the things that I've learned as well is um, women don't like the short guys. I'm six foot tall, so it's like no way I would never know any of these things. Um, I'm six foot, and I don't know. I didn't know short guys caught that much help. But let me get to the point. This last date that I went on, man, Jesus Christ, man. First of all, man, this sister, she didn't catfish me. Oh, no. She was who she said she was, and then some. <laughs> So, when I'm on my way to meet her, I'm a little reluctant, man, because, again, I've been catfished quite a few times, man. But let me stay with the story. So, I get there, and oddly enough, I'm fucking nervous. <laughs> Shit, I'm fucking nervous. I might get catfished, and I'm nervous. And um, I go around the store, get her some flowers and shit. And when I walk up to the door, just as I go to open the door, I mean, go to knock on the door. She opened the door. And oh my God, man. That's where it all got started. Man, she had a pair of sunglasses on, right? And she looked at me, and I guess I had a look on my face like, why do you have sunglasses on in the house? But when she flipped the motherfuckers up, this woman cast a spell on me, man. And I knew, I knew from that very moment I was in trouble. So, I'm like, Jesus, fuck. <laughs> but I don't have the courage to get away. So, she throws together this itinerary, right? Um, I want to go eat first. And then after eat, I want to go to uh, Manhattan because I want to get my hat cleaned. <laughs> and then after that, I want to go pet somebody's dog. <laughs> All right, cool. Whatever you say, baby. So, we rolling. And the more I'm looking at this woman the more I'm just getting pulled in, man. And I'm a sucker for a pretty face. I got some rigid rules and I got all this shit with the do's, the don'ts, and the dumb shit. But when I say this woman, <laughs> I just completely lost control of our faculties. So now we sitting down eating this shit, breakfast time, and she ordered what it, she, she why not order my shit. I'm always gonna try to keep the bill down because I'm paying for it most of the time. I'm shivers. I don't mind, you know, hanging out, but that's neither here nor there. So, but I'm going to try to keep the bill to a minimum, right? So, 
I order me what I order. She order what she order. And next, you know, this bitch start quartering my most insistent. And I'm like, God damn, right? I'm counting the whole time this bitch ordered one, right? Jesus Christ. So um, I got out of there, man. That was about $70, right? That ain't shit for breakfast. You know, mimosas. You, it's still to the point where it's not saying danger, Will Smith, danger and shit, right? So um, we go to Manhattan, right? And um, she go on to get these goddamn hats clean. So, um, man, she go in there and do something with this hat and shit. And she come out, man, she all happy and bubbly, man. And she put that smile on me, man. I just was like melting, man. <laughs> and next thing you know, she said, I wanted to get me that hat in there, but I guess I'm going to get it some other time. And before I even realized it, man, <laughs> I'm marching to this motherfucker store and buy this woman this goddamn hat. Because I'm thinking to myself, right? Fuck, man. The hat. Right. Worse, the most the hat gonna cost is $50. That's what I'm thinking, right? Motherfucker, man, I tell her, I said, yo, where the, where's the hat at that she was looking at? Could you believe this motherfucker said it's already in the box? <laughs> now, I don't know if that was meant for me or if it was meant for somebody else or it was meant for whoever. But that when I think about it, <laughs> the hat was already in the fucking box and shit. So, um... Man, I end up buying this hat. This fucking hat costs a hundred and ninety fucking dollars. Fuck, might as well say two hundred dollars. Round it up. So now I'm like, God damn, I'm gonna spend two hundred and seventy dollars. Now again, I could have um, I could have said no, I'm not doing that shit. But because I'm a motherfucking trick ass nigga, if I see something that I like, you know, fucking, I'm two seventy in now. So I'm really watching my shit, right? So we hanging out. And we, the thing about it, we having fucking fun. That's the crazy thing about it. We having fun. I'm like totally bewitched. This woman is fucking leading me around by my goddamn nose and shit, right? And I'm like, Jesus Christ, man. It's fucking gross. Jesus Christ, what the fuck else is she going to look at? And next thing you know, man, I don't know what the fuck I was getting ready to say. The bitch is drinking like a fish. Every time I look up, she just fucking over and drink. She told me fuck back and I'm fucking prepared for this shit. I'm like, God damn. So now, I guess capping off at about five hundred bread. And then man, I was like, damn. So I come back, taking her home and shit, and had fun. But I've realized, I said, man. This chick just wake up and my motherfucking leave. She ain't do nothing to... She ain't asked for a fucking thing, man. I just wanted to do the fucking shit for her. Now, I know a lot of that shit was suggestion, you know, because, you know, she maneuvered me and it's like, let's see what it is, see what it is, see what it is. Chin check you. Because that's what women, they do. Women, women, women will chin check you. And she's like, yeah, nigga, you with me? Uh, uh, see where you at. And... Hey, man, it was a hell of an experience, but at the end of the day, man, I text that sister back 24 hours later. I said, babe, listen, I like you, but I like you more than you like me. And it can't be like that. It could be me more than you, but it can't be you more than me. I, I can't roll with that. And, you know, that just kind of cleared it out right there. But, um, yeah, man, I guess at the end of the day, man, sometimes, man, you got to stay in your motherfucking lane, man. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. I'm done with it. Bam.